Sweet friends, yes, that was my booth. I'll be booth 59. But I'm going to walk around here at Vendor Village a little bit and see what I can find in the fall decor who has something out. And I just see a little bit here in this booth, the uh, Ray Dunn and a couple of the spider glasses and some cute pumpkin candy dishes. So these are real adorable, just $2.99 each for the glass, and I'm not sure what the um, Scaredy Cat Ray Dunn mug was. They have lots of glassware here in this one, and this is still in aisle B. And I'm not sharing all of them, just a few of them, but this one here, I've seen the blue dishes, and on that top shelf inside the hutch is a blue set that really caught my eye. But these red, white, and blue glasses, they look vintage. I didn't see anything on them. I didn't even see a price uh, for the set of four, but I thought they were really cute and how fun those would be for a summertime breakfast out on the deck or something. But that set right there in the middle in the ditzy blue and white, I just fell in love with that. I didn't get the price on it. I knew I wasn't going to uh, buy that today. And here is just some old silverware in some mid-century modern style. And this is plate set that is J&G Meekin coming up. I love the color of this green. It just really caught my eye. It's a four-piece place setting, and they wanted $50 for it, and I thought that green was just so, so pretty. And to have the right glasses, that would be make a beautiful summertime table. And then they had a little bit of the copper, and I'm planning on decorating a little bit with the copper that I have on hand. It's not a whole lot, but I'm planning to work that in my fall decor this year. And you probably remember seeing me look at a copper pitcher at Hobby Lobby. This frame here, uh, that old vintage frame, $25, that's about the right price. I had a couple of vintage ones in my booth, and that's what they sold for was $25. And then here is just some little Halloween things. I think somebody might have made these, but I fell in love with this butter dish. And after watching this video, I wish I picked it up for $9.99. And some people have placed just a couple of little pumpkins to, you know, get that fall feel in their booth. And then these look like they were hand handmade for $20. I call them porch sitters. They're made out of real wood. And the little teacups with the, uh, poured candles in them. What a cute idea. And it'd be nice to do some of those for fall with the fall scents. And you guys know I can't resist cutting boards. I always have to stop and look at the cutting boards. Like, I don't have enough, you know. And here is some more of those little candle teacup mugs. And these were old bourbon barrel strips and they've you know printed on some of the uh, local uh, bergen kentucky Harrodsburg, danville uh, lancaster different areas and this sign back here joshua 2415 for 16 dollars i fell in love with that in this booth they had a lot of towels but a lot of them were about pets and drinking maybe drinking wine, nothing wrong with it, but not for me. So this bottom one really caught my eye and I liked it the best. And it says, keep life simple. I love that one. And those are just $2.99 or two for $5. And then also they had some flags and flag stands and rugs in this booth. All kinds of stuff you can find here at Vendor Village. This lady sells uh, some of her wreaths that are made, but a lot of bows. I've actually bought ribbon from her before, but if you're into bow making, 
Uh, there's uh, plenty to choose from here. And then even a couple of uh, grapevine wreaths if you want to um, use those in your crafting. And in here, found some Vaseline glass. I'm not a big collector, but somebody has it in here. $8 for the plate. And it looks like, I think 29 or 79 on that picture. I would think it's 29. But they had um, an old pie safe in here, and you know, I found a couple this summer. And I think they wanted $2.99 for that. And this one has like a washboard, it's $3.20. I wasn't crazy about the angel scenes above the washboards on this, but overall, I thought it was cute. I don't know if this is actually a vintage or a replica, but I want to say that that canister set was a replica because it didn't have any dents all over it. And then here is some old skating shoes. Looks about like my size. $20 for those. There's no way I could skate. I would break my neck. <laughs> older than the internet he thought I'd get a kick out of that and yes I did here's another really cute booth put together in this old rake I wanted to put up a rake in my display on my porch this one's $27.50 I sort of wish I picked it up maybe it's there when I go back but I thought it would be really cute to put in a fall decoration on my large front porch Five dollars for the little wooden cradle, and fourteen seventy-five for the old marbles in an old jar. This is a local plate, and this print really caught my eye. I really liked the scene on it, and it was for five dollars. And this little wooden bucket. The one at $20 for that. Thick piece of wood, but would really be a cute stable piece. Old lantern. Would look good in any display for the holidays. $20. And it was the heavy kind of metal. And then how adorable would this little wagon look in, in a little boy's Western style room? And then I'm not real familiar with this. It looks like it's a horse carrier metal truck. And then the old cheese box for $5. I showed you all how to clean up uh, some old wood and make it uh, look good. And this girl here, great bluegrass. I do follow her on Instagram. Her name is Jamie, and she's in aisle D, booth 94. And she really, look at this gorgeous terrine. And she has $40 on it. That is just beautiful and it has a ladle to it, and I just love the leaves on it. But she always has a very neat and pretty booth. She's got some uh, Ralph Lauren pillows that are new for $28. Those are adorable. And she has quite a few uh, vintage items and a lot to do with the Kentucky a bluegrass style and some old candlesticks for $24 a pair, some brass candlesticks.
And this booth was set up for fall, quite a few little handmade items and even some pillow covers, some flags, but I really love these hand-sewn sunflowers in the jar, which is, is great, but I didn't notice at the time the one on the left is actually in an old rusted tin, and I thought how cute that would be on my back porch, but at the time, I didn't see that till I watched this video, and I probably would have picked that up. But when I go back, I'll have to check. But here is all kinds of fall. This is about the second booth that I've seen really decorated for fall besides my own. And then these little areas are about two feet deep and all kinds of sign, farmhouse signs, if it's something you're looking for. Little bird houses, welcome sign, laundry, all kinds of stuff here. And I thought, what a neat idea for uh, just a small, tiny display, if that's all that you need, and you don't need a big uh, nine by nine or nine by 10 booth size. This lady here, back in the corner, she always has a beautiful booth. She has some primitive, some farmhouse, a little mixture, even some Billy Jacob. But I always love walking by and visiting her booth, and I always see something different I've bought from her booth before. And this lantern is just gorgeous for $39.99. And that's a Billy Jacob print for the fall. $29 for that. That's so cute. And then over here, this table set. She has it set up so pretty. I love the green lantern setting in the middle of the table. and the mats. And this cute little doll. She's just adorable. So cute. She's $8.99. So she has a little bit of fall set up here in her booth. And this gorgeous table set. She's recovered the seats, but I love the ivory color. $375 for that farmhouse style table. Over here she has a tray, a two-tier tray for $29. There's an old hurricane lamp back there. They usually go for about $40. That's what I paid for mine. And this booth is uh, pretty intriguing. I like it as well, but this piece of furniture here had caught my eye. It's a little small. I think that these buffet or, or you know, sideboards need to be a little bit bigger than that. I call it dollhouse style. But this hall tree is gorgeous. It says, this is us. And $199 for that. It's in a greenish gray color, a little odd. And pickle air freshener or a bonnet for your cat. Take your pick, don't pass them up. <laughs> Happy Wood here does a lot of uh, cutting boards. And this one up here would be my favorite. It's just a really thick cutting board. $70 for that one, but I, I just love it. And this booth right here had some old quilts. And this one was $80. These are all hand stitched. 85 for this embroidered one. And then this set up here, this is so pretty. 
view glasses, $2 each, and the picture for $15. I could just imagine that sitting on the summer table enjoying it. Grandma's flower garden quilt done with a red outline. They wanted 150 for it. And then this, I call it an old sewing chest. I'm not sure what it is, a vintage cabinet. They want it 300 with the table that it is sitting on, the oak table. And if you had an old sideboard, that thing would just be gorgeous setting up on it. And a couple of more quilts over here. The umbrella is really pretty color. And $90 for it, hand stitched. But love the colors on that one. In another booth, I had mentioned an old wheelbarrow. These things are great. This one's 30 bucks to put them in your front yard and grow flowers in them and, you know, just use them as a decoration. And this is an old vintage one. Lots of Ray Dunn, but if you're gonna buy Ray Dunn from this booth, uh, it's, it's, re it's priced retail, I will tell you that. So you're not gonna find a deal, but if you're looking for a particular piece, you might check this booth out. This lady here, handmade by D. Smith, she makes uh, valances and curtains and pillows, and they're at a really great price. And I think I have bought uh, one or two valances out of this booth. Lots of different colors, farmhouse style. I love how she's done the little windows and put the curtains on there to display them. How cute of an idea. Her pillows are just uh, $11. The handmade pillows, and she has a, a reduced box of items if you want to come in and go through that. Lots of uh, stripes, farmhouse, animals, chickens, cows, trucks, all kinds. And then this booth, one is across from the other down at the front. And I always love stopping by their booth. They have lots of stuff just to look at. And sometimes I find an item or two. They have a lot of vintage, vintage signs. Some of these motion signs, but usually lots of furniture. I love the old general store sign. And then here are the uh, cracker jars that might have been sitting at an old country store. You know, when you go to check out, you'll see those sitting there and grab them as you go out. Moon Pies, Lance, Coca-Cola, Tom's. And then some Jadeite in this booth. Pretty reasonable retail price mark though and here's some more items they have in their booth some cast iron uh, little animals chicken dog cricket rabbits cows all kinds of stuff always fun to look at that booth here's another booth that's caught my eye very well organized very neat a few fall things in here. I didn't notice a little toy soldier there until watching the video. And then this one looks like it's sort of been picked over, but it had a few fall items. There's a rug and a, a pick sign that you can put out front of your porch. And then also there was some table runners, placemats, a few candles, so a few fall items. And they wanted, I think, $4 for that.
And then this candle holder here caught my eye when I picked it up. It was very heavy. It had $26 from Hobby Lobby on it. I don't remember seeing this at Hobby Lobby. You all know I shop Hobby Lobby. But that was that candle stick there was the only thing that I picked up today and I did take it home and I'm going to put it in my kitchen in my fall decor. But I just fell in love with that. It looked farmhouse style. This booth here always catches my eye. She comes in and changes things up quite often. And I love that little salt and pepper shaker. I think it was might have been mud pie. But look at this old third grade reader for $14.95. This booth had a chair in it. I sat down a minute. These are old sewing machine drawers, and there is just all kinds of things you can do with these. She had $12 on them, but here are some ideas. Somebody put them in their bathroom to hold towels and uh, just things needed in the bathroom. Here is some used in a sewing room. Here is one used in the kitchen for silverware. What a neat idea. And they put little legs on it. And here's another one just with a display in it. All some vintage things. How adorable. This booth is always a neat booth to look at. She always has it styled uh, very nice. And these old restaurant wear plates. I thought they were Homer Laughlin, but they're not. But they are made in the USA. They were very heavy, very thick. And then this booth is almost on our way out. And I always stop by this one to look. Look at the old pie safe. Very rustic. This one's for $500. And this little red one. How cute are those? And that's $2.99. That's what I have for you folks. Thanks for uh, tagging along with me. I'll see you in my next video.